Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. We're back again with our OWASP project spotlight series and this time we have our 30th project that's called Developer Guide and we are really, really excited about it because uh, the team has done amazing work and I have some really amazing on this call with me that is Shruti Kulkarni. Hi Shruti. Hi Vandana and morning, afternoon, evening everybody as the case may be. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm really See, excited to be over here. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And uh, I am equally excited to talk about the project because there's so much effort that has been uh, put in for this project and there's so much that has gone for this project. So can you please share uh, uh, more about this project? Developer Guide has been very close to me as well personally. So I want to know more about it. So a developer guide is a lot more than um, secure coding guidelines. What we are trying to approach with uh, developer guide is an overarching um, uh, architecture. So we talk about uh, security architecture, security design, risk assessments, and the tools that OWASP has, you know, especially um, tools like uh, dependency track, etc. So we're not trying to reinvent the wheel with uh, developer guide. We're just trying to extend what is already there and then add some do's and don'ts, some test cases so that, you know, we all can pull in our resources and then, you know, help our community. So nobody knows everything about everything and we don't live long enough to make all the mistakes in this world and learn from them. You know, this is just a way of uh, pulling our resources. So. Yeah, I agree. So is it possible for you to share us the new link where exactly people can find the developer guide and uh, how they can actually leverage it or even if maybe uh, somebody wants to contribute towards that? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we are definitely looking for volunteers and contributors and also to review the uh, content that we have added to it. So if you can give me one second, let mm -hmm. me share my screen and show where exactly all the documents are and the repository is located. Um, so on the um, OWASP uh, site, okay. Let me know if you can see my screen. Um, I uh, Unfortunately, I need to share my entire screen. Um, just so you know, because they are all in uh, web pages and uh, it, it's much easier. Uh, so here you go. So on the ovosp.org site, um, you can actually do a slash project developer guide and you can get to it. So this is where we have got our little bit of a write up and We've got um, on the OWASP GitHub repo, we've got the developer guide. So you can see that it is, um, it, it's fairly you know, self-sustained as, as it is now. And if you click on draft, um, sorry, just give me a second. And you will see all the, topics that we have been working on. Um, so we have got the foundations in terms of security fundamentals, the security principles, crypto principles, top 10, etc. And then we have requirements. So we talk about security requirements um, that should be in place. Uh, and as you can see, we've got content for this ready for review. Then we move on to design. Uh, including threat modeling and web app checklist. And we've got implementation guidelines in terms of how to do the, the documentation for proactive controls. Then we've got dependency track and then the secure libraries like ES API, CS, CSRF card, secure headers. Uh, then we've got the verification for tools, the guides that we have got in place. Um, and then the, especially the mobile application security. Um, and then we've got tools like Zap and NetHacker, and then the frameworks. Uh, sorry, my <laughs> screen is a little frozen. No, that's okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, now it's better. Then we've got the do's and don'ts in terms of, uh, you know, what can be done, what should be done, what shouldn't be done. Um, 
and then we have got the education bit the training education bit and then the culture building process uh, operations metrics and security gap analysis obviously as you can see many of these are kind of uh, there but they are not exactly there like we have put in some placeholders um, and all that however we need to people to review what we have added over here and then add their content to where you know uh, it's looking to uh, seeking um, more information um, Vandana, I hope that helps in telling people what we have got, where we have got, and how to go about it. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is very self-explanatory, and uh, this is really amazing because it covers extensive information about what Developer Guide is. Uh, I will make sure that all the links that you talked about will be shared, and uh, I, I totally believe there are a lot of people, especially students, who want to contribute towards Developer Guide, and we will make sure that they contribute uh, towards that because they have a lot of projects where they actually should pick up open source and open source is booming up so absolutely this is very very important absolutely i mean you know um i i truly believe in open source because it actually fosters creativity it helps us to think outside the box but of course uh, you know i keep telling people that open source security is as much a supplier's responsibility as it is of a, a consumer's responsibility so as suppliers we can give you data we can give you information how you can secure it but also it's up to consumers to use it securely so it works both ways right absolutely uh, but this this work is commendable thank you so much uh, it has been very very amazing to see what has been done um in this past few months which is like uh, I, I remember this was not updated for years but then you picked it up and built the whole team together got this done totally amazing Absolutely. Um, and, you know, if uh, people want to know more about um, uh, the developer guide, I'm sure they can approach any of us like, you know, you are one of the project leaders. There is John Gadsden, there is Andra, Harold Blankenship and myself. So I did do a presentation about the developer guide in the OWASP DOSA chapter meeting uh, in November, and I'll be presenting the um, uh, deck and, and about uh, developer guide in the OWASP London chapter meeting on 11th of January. So if anybody wants to come and listen to us talk, or if they have any questions, they need more information, they can definitely get in touch with us. I think I am, or I, I would say that I believe people would come and listen to your talk in London. And I know London audience is amazing. Indeed it is, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed, yes. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much um, uh, for spending time and sharing all these details. I know you are on a vacation and still took out time for us. So thank you so much uh, for sharing all the details. Thank you, Vandana. It was a real pleasure talking about it and you know, real pleasure meeting you again. Yeah, likewise. So hope to see you soon in person again. Thank you. Thank you. Same here. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Oh, we will come back with our Spotlight series in the new year. And this is our last uh, Spotlight series for the year, which is 30th project. So I'm super excited for it. Uh, and stay tuned for more and show your love for the at the project, which is Developer Guide. Thank you so much.